Previously on the Ultimate Creative Fighter, the teams were picked, the matches were set, Green Power Ranger versus the Red Power Ranger. Things were looking extremely well for the Green Power Ranger. A late comeback by the Red Power Ranger in the first round, but Tommy was still able to secure the first round and took that confidence and that mentality into the second round where he was able to unleash a fury of combinations after a completely devastating knee to the face which got him the TKO victory and the first win of season two of two calf ladies and gentlemen after this happened Twitter was an uproar after the coaches started going back and forth announcing the victory and the pettiness of Deadpool came out and he exposed a picture of him kissing She-Hulk. We need to get down to the bottom of this season. Welcome back to the Ultimate Creative Fighter. I am your host, Killington Spreewell. The first walk out of the night is none other than popular, demonic, the Prince of Darkness, Hellboy. Representing Team Deadpool, let's take a look at that roster real quick, guys. Everything's pretty much the same except for the Red Power Ranger is eliminated and tonight, Hellboy does have a chance to become eliminated as well. We do not want to see that. He has great endurance, excellent submissions. Some would say he's a thug nasty of the two calf universe. He has recently gotten into the UFC scene because he hasn't been around long enough as some of the originals that are on two calf, but that does not deny him the experience that he has outside of the UFC octagon. He's staring down the referee because he did have a little bit of an altercation of who was picked because of the Henry Cejudo Dominic Cruz thing he doesn't want the referee to stop this fight for early stoppage whatsoever he would want to be rather knocked out as what he told sources but walking out right now we have team representative TMNT Raphael let's take a look uh, at the roster real quick for the Incredible Hulk Everything's the same. They have not lost. He also has a potential to be eliminated from this competition. We don't want that. If you guys are Team Hulk representatives, you want to, you know, have that UFC 2 original within 2CAF. You don't want to be eliminated by the guys that took your spot because of the newer generation, the next gen of your, you know, game, the installment of the UFC. He is the youngest guy in here, standing at 19 years old. He's barely breaking the threshold of him still being a teenager. But I'm excited for him to be in the octagon. You guys requested it. He's here. He's looking to become a staple in 2CAF and UFC 3 as well. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Besides the ages, everything else is completely identical from skill set to moves, reach, everything like that. Bruce Buffer with the official announcements. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Assassin! And now we can see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Dublin, Ireland! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata is referee, TMNT in green, Hellboy in red. They do not touch gloves and right to it, ladies and gentlemen. The two bad boys of the competition, he does rock Hellboy. In the first 15 seconds, he rocked him. Coming out with a little bit of things to prove to the newer guy. We have, oh my, what a nice overhand delivered by Raphael and took it to the ground. This is where Hellboy shines the most. As you can see right here, the thug nasty of two calf. You can see he has great jujitsu, great grappling work, loves to be on his back, very comfortable. And does not get the submission, guys. He almost had it. TMNT is trying to put him in the crucifix. Looks like he's he's able to try to be in a dominant position, but that ground game of Hellboy is 
too much for the young stud. It's going to be an interesting thing to watch here to see if he can actually outgrapple Hellboy or if Hellboy is just going to dominate him on the ground. Oh, and he postures up here. Raining Hell Fist. Fist of Fury. Takes the back and is dominating him. He might, you know, he might want to lay him out flat to get the better advantage. And he is dominating him on the ground. It's interesting to see this because a lot of calves, when you even though you choose different types of moves and skill set for them, they do whatever they want inside the octagon. You can't make them a submissioner. You can't make them a grappler, a tie clincher. They do it themselves. Lay him out flat. And he goes for a rear naked choke. We have three gates. Already in the second gate, and he's able to get it out of it. A minute and 45 seconds left. It is looking like Hellboy is completely dominating Raphael. You can hear the corner telling him to ground and pound. You know, it's definitely interesting to hear the coaches and them telling him what to do. It might work in the favor of Raphael if he's able to hear it and put that into his game plan so he does not get submitted or possibly TKO'd from the ground. But it's not looking like that. Mounted Crucifix for a quick second. He was able to get out of there. Hellboy is dominating Raphael. This is definitely a first. Puts him in a Mounted Crucifix. Denies the transition. He, he's raining down some fists. Oh, it could be curtains. What is he doing? He's pulling an Americana from the Mounted Crucifix. Two gates down. The third gate. He could get this. Oh, he almost had it. He almost had it. He almost had it. He wouldn't have been saved by the bell. The submission would have been uh, gotten off. But he did definitely walk away barely. He knows that his submission game is weak. And he also knows that he's not good on his back. Sadly, as turtles, they are not good on their backs. you got to help them get up. So hopefully, uh, Raphael and Hulk can come to a game plan to adjust to this because Raphael is a striker. He, he made the mistake right here, as you can see, going down into the ground and try to out jujitsu, out groundwork Hellboy. It's crazy, guys. It's very crazy. It's very interesting. I'm going to have to give that round to Hellboy. Hellboy definitely took that round. He, he stayed confident. He did a bunch of things. Like I said, the Thug Nasty was in there doing jiu-jitsu, was doing the groundwork, submissioning him from every angle. But it didn't end there, guys. We are entering round two. They, again, do not touch gloves, guys. Nice combination by Rafael. Oh, off the cage. Oh, my. He Superman punched him off the cage. And he stumbled him a little bit. He stumbled him. What a great fight we have on our hands tonight for Two Calf Episode 2. Great popular characters. A UFC 2 original versus someone who just hopped on the stage and became a popular character in the game. Goes for a takedown, but it looks like Rafael is going for a submission. From the takedown, two gates, a guillotine. Gets the first gate. Oh, and is able to get the second gate. Rafael defeats Hellboy via submission. After all the submission talk that I had earlier about Hellboy being the better submissioner, he came back out, caught him slipping through the takedown and put him in a guillotine chokehold that made him tap out and then threw him off. Uh, kind of a little bit of a message saying, hey, don't mess with me. Leave me alone. It's not your... You know, it's not your ground game. It was just something that I had a feel for. Man, did he execute that really well from the takedown. I've never seen that. I've never seen somebody get not, uh, I'm sorry, submitted from a takedown like that. A perfect counter to someone that is, as, you know, especially those type of people that just want to stay on the ground like Raphael, or I'm sorry, like the um, Hellboy. Man, it was great to see. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest. At one minute, 17 seconds of round number two. Deploying the winner by tap out. Assassin. Raphael 
makes it to an all for Team Hulk. Deadpool right now is fuming. Has to be very angry at his team. They were doing good the first round, just like the last fight, but was not able to finish the fight or execute. We are going to be heading into the third episode next Monday, 12 p.m. Be there to find out who is fighting next. The champion of the world, Killing Spree 37!